figured I would show you this recipe real quick. You're going to need four eggs. You're going to need heavy whipping cream. You're going to need honey. You're going to need salt. You're going to need milk. And you're going to need vanilla. This is a really good recipe to do if you've got excess honey. This tastes very, very good. Having some microphone issues, but anyways, we're going to start out with one and a half cups of cream in a bowl. Going to follow that with one and a quarter cups of milk. I actually use powdered milk. You can use regular vitamin D milk or whatever you want to use. The reason why I use powdered milk is it's fat free for one and I don't really drink it I mostly use it for cooking and uh, for me it's just more convenient all right the next thing you're going to do is add four eggs to this I don't temper my eggs when I make ice cream. Some people would rather do that. That's up to you, but I don't. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of vanilla. A pinch of salt. Then one half cup of fresh honey. This is out of my own hives. This is unfiltered raw honey. Has a very good floral taste. It's kind of addictive. I can't really ever keep any of it extra in. No matter how many hives I have, it always sells out before I even get it. Next thing you're going to do is use an immersion blender or a whisk or something like that. Get everything mixed up. Once you have this done, once you have this done, your next step depends on the type of ice cream maker you have. If you have a churn style ice cream maker, you obviously want to cool this to below 40 degrees, then churn it the way you normally do. If you've got a Ninja Creamy, you pour it into your pint cups and then stick them in the freezer and follow that method. So I'm actually going to use the Ninja Creamy Cups just because I'm finding out the more I use it, the more I like that over the churn style just because it's convenient because I can pre-make and show you what I'm talking about as far as the cups go. 
So I can basically pre-make numerous different flavors of ice cream and have them in the freezer ready to go. So kind of funny how that worked out when I thought I was going to be dogging the Ninja Creamy and now I actually love it. So I'm going to fill it up to the fill line About right there. Don't worry too much about those chunks. I'll put this in the freezer and I'll bring you back when we go to make this in the Ninja Creamy. Obviously, if you have a churn style ice cream maker, you would have chilled your ice cream base down to below 40 degrees, then put it in your churning bowl and then churn the ice cream for around 20 minutes. But I'm actually using a Ninja Creamy today. So what we gotta do is pull our base out of the freezer, which is this. Then we will get our base container, which is this. We'll add the ice cream to the base container after I snap the lid off. Add the top, power this on, then we go ahead and turn our ice cream up and then we hit ice cream. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And actually, if you watch any other Ninja Creamy ice cream video, you'll see they pretty much have the exact same results. Kind of see here, not really ice cream yet. It can be better. So we put it back in here. Let me go ahead and show you this. Raise it back up. You'll see it lights up. And then right here is a respin button right next to the power button. If you do respin, it does it again. It does it a little bit faster and uh, it comes out looking much more creamier. about one minute instead of two and a half minutes so take that out take the top off now you can see we look way more like ice cream this will be really good really really good I always take and get even the excess out of the top because it is really really good this is one of my favorite recipes for excess honey Oh my, it is crazy good. So let me show you here. That's what we look like. Mm-mm-mm, good. <laughs> 